Hi, this is Angie from Brown Haired Bliss, and today I have a fun patriotic hairstyle for you. It's perfect for the 4th of July, so let's get started and I will show you how it's done. We're going to start by creating five ponytails, so just make a square at the front of the head all the way back to the crown and add an elastic. And now we're going to just push that out of the way, make a part from the back of that square to the ear, and then just comb it back or brush it back and add another elastic. Now you're going to do the same thing on the right side and add an elastic and now we're going to create the pigtails. So just go right down the middle and create a pigtail with each of those sections of hair. Now we're going to create the star. So we have our five ponytails. So we're going to start with the top ponytail and split it in half. So take that left section and I'm going to do a rope twist here. Now you can do any braid that you would like. You can do a three strand braid. You can just twist it. You can keep it just as is and just pull it down. I prefer to do a, some sort of braid and a rope twist is honestly the fastest braid to do in my opinion. So that's what I did here. So do that rope twist all the way down to that left corner elastic on the bottom and then just get a metal clip and clip it out of the way. Now take the second half of that ponytail and do the exact same thing. So just do a rope twist all the way down to the right bottom ponytail and secure it off with a clip as well. Now we're just securing it off with a clip because we're going to add another braid to it and I don't want to add a lot of elastics. Now take that ponytail on the left, split it in half. Take that top right section and do a rope twist all the way across to the right side. And this time we're going to secure it with an elastic. So just go all the way over to that ponytail, grab the ponytail and secure them together with an elastic. Now take this other half of that ponytail and we're going to do a diagonal now. So just do a rope twist down to that bottom right ponytail. And now just take that clip out and grab the other braid, put them together, and secure them to that bottom right ponytail with an elastic. Now we are done with this ponytail, so I decided to add a ribbon here. I like to usually add some sort of accessory. Ribbons are my preference, so I just did a blue ribbon. So now we're going to do our last piece. So just grab that right piece, do a rope twist to the bottom left corner, Take that clip out and secure it with an elastic. Now here is my trick for keeping the ribbon secure in place all day. So just take your ribbon and put it through that elastic. And this will keep it secure all day long. If I don't put it through the elastic, they will fall out during the day. They just slide right down the ponytail. So if you put it through that elastic, and tie your bow, it won't go anywhere. And now that I'm done, I'm just gonna comb through each of those ponytails. You could curl it, you could braid it, you could do whatever you would like with those. And this is the finished product. This star is actually really easy to do. And I hope that you guys try it out. You can do it with rope twists like I did here, or you could do it with braids like I did here. I think the braids are really cute. You can just do twists, just grab the hair and twist it like I did here on the girls and then do braided pigtails. Or if you're feeling ambitious, you could do a smaller braid into a side ponytail. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you can do double pigtails. So you'd have a two stars, both of them into pigtails. This one took a lot longer, but the end result is really cute. Hope that you guys enjoy recreating this style. It's a really fun one for the 4th of July. And please tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you do so that I can see it. I would love to see it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, we would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe so that you can be notified of all of our upcoming videos. You can also click above if you would like to see some of our past tutorials. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on our next video. Bye!